hello friends so today's session we'll start with a sequence impedance of symmetrical circuit sequence impedance of a symmetrical circuit so before going to start with this concepts uh, in a previous session that is uh, in a previous videos we were discussed about uh, sequence components that is a positive sequence components and negative sequence components as well as zero sequence components so in this particular uh, session we are going to discuss about sequence impedance of a symmetrical circuit so let us know what is sequence impedance so as we know there are three sequence networks positive negative and zero sequence so let us know that what do you, what what do you mean by positive sequence impedance negative sequence impedance as well as zero sequence impedance so here the impedance offered by the circuit for the flow of positive sequence current is called as positive sequence impedance similarly the impedance offered by the circuit for the flow of negative sequence current is called as negative sequence impedance and also if there is a zero sequence current then it is called as zero sequence impedance so now we'll discuss uh, three types of uh, sequence impedances that is a positive sequence impedance negative sequence impedance and zero sequence impedance we have to get uh, uh, equations for uh, all the three types of impedances so let us discuss this uh, like uh, let us discuss about a sequence impedance of a symmetrical circuit sorry for the disturbance so in this particular section we show that that is we are going to show that in a symmetrical circuit that currents of a given sequence produce a voltage drop of the same sequence only means if there is a current in a zero sequence component which will be produces the same voltage drop that is va naught will be having the voltage drop with the same current of i naught similarly va1 will be having the same current of i1 va2 will be having the same current of i2 so let us uh, consider a three phase symmetrical circuit i am showing here so this is a three phase symmetrical circuit here which has a let i a i b and i c be the currents in each line these currents return via neutral impedance that is zn as we show so the neutral impedance which has zn the current flows through the neutral impedance is i n the neutral current in the star is given by i a plus i b plus i c for example if there is a star connection like this this is a star connection so current flows to the each star connection so say it as i a i b i c suppose it is a i a current it is i b current similarly if it is i c current here so the neutral is nothing but this point is nothing but neutral so for this particular i n that is i n is nothing but so this i n is nothing but the addition of all the three currents that is i a plus i b plus i c so that the neutral current is nothing but i a plus i b plus i c i hope you are understanding so consider a three phase symmetrical circuit here i a i b i c are the currents in each line as well as these currents that is i a i b i c currents returned via neutral impedance zn as we are seeing in a circuit diagram so next so how can you write the voltage drops so you can calculate the voltage drop for particular phase sequences that is for the particular phases say there are three phases say it as a, a b and c so voltage drop in a phase you can write as a va see here voltage drop in va so which is having the return current also so that i can write here i a into z plus the return current is i n into z n 
i n into z n so that i can write here the voltage drop in phase a is right as i a into z plus i n into z n i a into z again the neutral current is coming back here see the, these currents return via the neutral impedance z n so that i a into z plus i n into z n by applying k c i i can get this expression next i a into z plus i n is nothing but the neutral current is given by i a plus i b plus i c substitute here you can get i a plus i b plus i c into z n i'll just do a simplification we can get v a as i a into just see here there are two i a's take i a as common i a into z and i a into z n we can get i a into the bracket z plus z n plus i b into z n plus i c into z n give this expression as equation number one understood similarly we have tried it for v b how can you write the v b so here the return current is here again the current from a phase current from c phase we have tried current we have tried the voltage drop in b phase so this voltage drop in b phase we can write as i a into current flows from z n the return current is z n here to the phase b also it will be flows to the a also it will be flows to the c so that i can write here as i a into the impedance of this is a z n i a into z n plus i b into z n i b into z n plus sorry i c into z n so I'll, I'll write once so just follow so you can write here for the for calculating voltage drop in b so you can get i a into z n plus i c into z n plus i b into z n plus which has impedance of z z plus z n so that i can get here i a into z n plus i b into z plus z n plus i c into z n similarly we can get for v c go for the v c so how can you write v c here c here c v c will be going to get the voltage drop of c phase so v c is given by okay see here the impedance z and z n so that can write z plus z n into i c plus z n into i b plus z n into i a so that i a into z n plus i b into z n plus i c into z n plus z i c into z n plus z not z n plus z so this is equation one and this is expression two and this is expression three and the next is we're writing these uh, v a v b v c in terms of matrix so in lhs i can write three cross one matrix that is having v a v b v c in our right hand side that is rhs side will be having i a i b i c i a i b i c I can write it as three cross one and the rest will be z i can write here z plus z n z n and z n i am telling in column wise so the first column in rhs side matrix we have z plus z n and z n and z n in second column we have z n z plus z n and z n in third column we have z n z n and z plus z n will be having z plus z n so once if we having this you can write here see how we are writing the expression in terms of matrix form give this as expression number four okay once if you are writing this then write all the phase voltages in terms of symmetrical voltages symmetrical component line currents in terms of symmetrical component so that i can get this so once if you are getting this so if you want to write only va not va1 va2 send this to the right hand side this becomes conjugate this becomes conjugate the conjugate value is nothing but this is the conjugate value of the matrix of this once you are getting this simplify this before simplifying i'll just give you the clue first you multiply this matrix and this matrix okay 
after that multiply with this matrix so what you can get the final answer we can get va not va1 va2 as z plus 3zn 00 0z0 00z ia not ia1 ia2 give this as ex expression phi so here i'll just tell you uh, how we are going to simplify means after multiplying this matrix and this matrix just use a uh, use a, the relationship of a operator if it is 1 plus a plus a square 0 if it is a square a if it is a a square if it is a cube 1 if it is a to the power 4 1 substitute that you can get this expression okay so once if you are getting this i can write va va naught as z plus 3 z n into i a naught similarly va 1 as z into i a 1 similarly va 2 i can write as z into i a 2 so that i can get this namely positive and negative and zero sequence in this manner the three sequences may be solved individually once the problem is solved in terms of symmetrical components it can be transformed back to the actual circuit conditions so that i can write va naught as i'm just multiplying these two matrix so that i can get va naught equals to z plus 3z n into i a naught va1 is z into i a1 similarly va2 is z into i a2 so these above equations you can give this as equation number six uh, you can give the continuous equation number so this is equation number five and this will be six so by looking at the equation number six uh, indicate that in symmetrical circuits the current of a given sequence produce voltage drops of the same sequence current of a given sequence that is of a zero sequence which produce voltage drop of the same sequence voltage drop of the same sequence if it is i a naught will be produced in voltage drop of same sequence so that here uh, if the current in a zero sequence network is i a naught so this will be used uh, same zero sequence voltage similarly i a1 with respect to va1 i a naught with i a2 with respect to va2 so as per the definition of sequence impedances we have the three sequence impedances namely z0 z1 z2 not indicates a zero so that z0 is nothing but zero sequence impedance and z1 is nothing but positive sequence impedance and z2 is nothing but negative sequence impedance z0 z1 z z0 is given by va0 by a0 similarly va1 divided by ia1 va2 divided by ia2 so z0 is also we can write here as z plus 3zn because va0 is nothing but z plus 3zn into ia0 substitute the value of va0 here we can get z0 equals to z plus 3zn okay similarly substitute the value of va1 so va1 is nothing but z into ia1 so here is a substitute z into ia1 divided by ia1 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 will get cancelled you can get only z similarly z2 va2 is nothing but z into ia2 divided by ia2 we can get only z so by looking at these expressions we can say it as the positive sequence impedance z1 which is the same as the negative sequence impedance z2 similarly the zero sequence impedance z0 is much larger than the positive or negative sequence impedance in the absence of neutral only in the absence of neutral zn equals to infinite that is if zn is infinite therefore if the zn is infinite therefore z0 becomes infinite hence i a0 equals to v a0 divided by z0 that is v a0 divided by infinite is nothing but zero as expected that is i a0 is zero if there is absence of neutral if the neutral is absent i a0 equals to zero thank you